Okay, so we're recording. So I'm just gonna start out really quick um, with some recognition for July Success Club. So Ashley Feldison at 28. At 18, we have Lindsay Redding, and I'm really sorry in advance, guys, if I totally butcher your names. Uh, we have Michaela Vardalakis at 16. At 14, we have Bailey Glanzer, Sydney Thompson, Andrea Slifka, and Jennifer Aganowski. At 12, we have Casey Bocklet, Kylie Winay, Ellen Dion. I probably killed that, sorry. Uh, Kate Morgan, Allison Laurent, Pat Realman. At 10, we have Mackenzie Provenzano, Liana Vizcarando, Stephanie Estridge, Melissa Weber. Then at eight points, we have Autumn Pearson, Carrie Steelman Schmidt, Megan Jones, Martha Stewart, coolest name ever. Uh, myself, Erin, uh, Emily Millman, and at six, we have Audrey Cornish, Courtney Mueller, Danielle Hills, Cheryl Schultz, Taylor Ryan, Cassandra Schmelzinger, Marissa Mendoza, Erin Reed Holmstead, Teresa Neitlinger, to Tobias Stewart, Michelle Humerick, uh, Cassandra Wicker, Chris Christina Tropiano, Beth McDonald, Jen Sansone, Maureen King, and Allie. Penzich. So I'm going to, congratulations everybody, it's awesome. I'm going to find Peter down here. I'm going to unmute Pete and hold on, let me also unmute our guest. All right, Pete, you could take it away. Okay. I'm really excited. I've got uh, this guy, Jeff Rogers, who I happen to meet just by chance at a Starbucks in uh, Indianapolis, right before he was getting ready to win his $100,000. At, at that point, he was you know, one of the finalists. And I've always been intrigued by the uh, Beachbody Challenge, and I think a lot of people don't jump into it because they're a little bit afraid or they don't know about it. So let me tell you a little bit about Jeff. Um, I probably should let him say this, but I guess I'll just talk a little bit about what was amazing to me, what he did. So he started, he was on the swim team until he was a junior, I guess, and swimming like six days a week. And then uh, he quit the swimming and he got into the fast food business. He, got, he started working at a fast food place and he uh, did that for several years, like I guess right in through college. And then I guess another, I'm going to say, well, Jeff, you can, you can uh, correct me on this, and, but I guess it was another uh, several years, like nine, eight years or something like that. Yeah, yeah, close to a decade, just of weight gain and lack of care of what I was eating. So why don't you, why don't you take it from there? Because you, you can explain sure. it probably a little better than I can. You sure, know, yeah. Story, so, how, how, how you got to where you were and how you got to where you are now. Absolutely. Yeah. I appreciate the introduction. And it was pretty cool running into you at Starbucks. It was literally just before I was walking into audition or to uh, rehearse for the evening for the Beachbody finalist competition. But uh, anyway, so March, this rolls back all the way back to when I was a kid in high school. And like he said, I quit the swim team in September, or I'm sorry, in my sophomore year of high school. And I went from exercising six days a week on the swim team to getting a job with several buddies at a fast food restaurant and um, not working out at all and having unlimited access to fast food and taking full advantage of it, unfortunately. And then that's, that started the downward spiral. I kind of carried my bad habits over into adulthood. And just for over the next decade, almost, not quite, well, no, it was a little bit more than a decade, actually, until um, March of 2017, actually. I just ate whatever I wanted um, over the course of, I would, I would say when I quit the swim team, I was just ever so slightly overweight um, because I still had poor nutrition. It's just that I was working out a ton. So I was only what I would say is slightly overweight um, when I quit the swim team. And then over the next um, four to five years, I gained, I went from what I would say was probably right around 200 pounds to um, well into the 300s. When I got married at um, age 20 in 2009, I estimate, I, you know, when you're that size, um, I'm not sure how many people here have ever been that size, but you kind of, 
avoid the scale at all costs. That's how I was at least. Um, so based on pitchers, I estimate in 2009, I was somewhere around 330 to 350 pounds. And then over the following few years after that, up until March of 2017, I gained a little bit more weight. And when I stepped on the scale, finally ready to tackle this issue, March of last year, I was I, I weighed in at 380 pounds. And at that point, um, basically what happened, what led me up to this point was, you know, at that size, needing to lose weight was always in the back of my mind. And then anytime I'd see a picture of myself or anytime I would look in the mirror, it would immediately bring it up to the front of my mind. And it would just remind me what a poor example I was being to my, my kids. Now I have a four-year-old and a, a son who's not quite two right now. So this started when he was just a few, four to six months old. But um, anytime I'd see a picture of myself or look in the mirror, I'd just be reminded of what a bad example I'm being and just kind of would kickstart me to thinking like, listen, this, this needs to happen. You need to lose weight now or there's going to be some real issues. And then um, I had a buddy at work who was awesome and was uh, always, he knew I welcomed this. So because I welcomed it, he was always on my case asking me, hey, when are you going to work out with me? He was, he's a fit guy. He was kind of motivating me, even though I hadn't chosen to do anything yet. He was kind of on my case like, hey, listen, I'm working out. Are you going to join me? You're going to do it with me? When are you going to start? You've been telling me you want to lose weight. When are you actually going to do something? So having him constantly prod me um, kind of let me realize the importance of having a support group. And that kind of got me to jumpstart. Finally, March 1st of last year, 2017, I decided it was time to take this head on because if I didn't, I was going to have some major problems down the road. Being nearly 400 pounds, eventually because i'm young i didn't have any health issues yet but eventually that would cause some serious problems and um basically i decided to tackle it head on i had some old p90x dvds um pete do you want me to do you want me to go all the way through my story or do you want me to stop somewhere and um, or... yeah i mean that that's cool go okay because i i think it's kind of interesting uh that you you did a lot of this to begin in the beginning on your own and then I'd like, yes. I, I want to jump into, you know, how the coaching has helped you, but yes. go ahead and tell your story. Okay. About that. Yeah. So I started with, I had an old set of DVDs that I was given many years prior, pretty close to when P90X was first getting popular and you'd see all the infomercials on TV and they just sat there collecting dust. I had attempted it, but you know, I was, I was also uh, mentally weak. I would say where if something got physically stressful, I just gave up. So I had attempted it. If any of you have done P90X, it's a rigorous program. So I had attempted it year in the years previously and quit. But this time I was finally ready. And what I tell people kind of switched in my mind is it wasn't until that day, March 1st of last year, that I finally accepted that I was capable of doing this. Um, previously, I had kind of pretended like there was something out there in the out there that would cause me to lose weight in the future, but I didn't have control over it. So finally on March 1st, I accepted, you know what, if my choices got me to 380 pounds, that meant my choices can take me down to wherever I want to go. Well, you know, take me to my goal and beyond. So I hit the ground running. I grabbed those, those P90X DVDs. I told myself, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. Um, is I'm going to do it the best way I know how. And I remembered how rigorous P90X was. So I started doing P90X. When I started, I couldn't do a single push up. I did every push up from my knees. And even doing them from my knees, I couldn't keep up with Tony Horton and the guys. I mean, you know, in my, I'm watching these, what I see as these amazing models of fitness. I'm doing push ups from my knees at almost 400 pounds, sweat dripping off of my face. And I still couldn't keep up with them. But it, it didn't turn me off. It motivated me. You know, I, I thought, well, if I push hard enough, maybe one day I can keep up with these guys. So I kept pushing. I set my original goal at losing 100 pounds in a year. I thought, okay, this is somewhat aggressive, but I'm almost 400 pounds. I should be able to lose 100 in a year if I push hard enough. So I hit the ground running, started tracking everything I ate in my phone. Didn't really know a whole lot about nutrition. I didn't have the supplemental information from P90X, so I wasn't really following the meal plan. I just was looking, just watching calories. 
So I started tracking everything in an app called Lose It. Um, I still do to this day just to be keep myself honest. And I hit the ground running. And actually at five months in, the day I hit five months, I also hit 100 pounds down. And that kind of opened my eyes to realize what we're capable of if we push ourselves. And my mind was just blown. You know, I, I, obviously I knew this was coming up. I've been weighing myself every day since I started. But when I saw these numbers coming off and it just increased my motivation, it helped me to push harder. And it really blew my mind to what we're capable of. So I decided, well, I'm not going to limit myself by giving myself a goal. I'm just going to keep pushing and see where I can take myself. Um, so I, I did three rounds of P90X. That took 10 months. Um, so that took me pretty close to the, that was, I was like a week away from 2018. And after three rounds of P90X, I was down 162 pounds. And then I got, that's when just a couple weeks prior to that is when I met my coach. My now co Well, I'm sorry, I didn't meet her. I knew her. I know her in my personal life. She's, I say she's my cousin. She's my wife's cousin's sister. So she contacted me because I, up until this point, I hadn't really shared my weight loss journey because I was scared. Um, in the past, I had been gung-ho and shared on day one that, hey, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to do this. And then I'd fizzle out and I would just think to myself, man, I'm so embarrassed that I made that post because now I'm already off track. So I purposely didn't post this time until I was about 100 pounds down. So she had been following my progress for a couple months. And when I was down 150-ish pounds, she reached out to me and said, you know, Jeff, listen, I know you're doing this on P90X. Um, I know you're not really plugged into the Beachbody community. There's a whole community out here of support. They have this challenge. You can win money. You can get plugged in. You can help other people do what you're doing. So I was kind of excited by that. And I, I uh, signed up under her, not as a coach originally. I just, just signed up for Beachbody On Demand under her because I was pretty excited to change things up at this point. I had done three rounds of P90X. Signed up under her, entered my, comp, my uh, um, transformation pictures in the Beachbody Challenge. Didn't really think anything of it. Didn't hear anything for like a month and a half. Um, meanwhile, I'm, I'm beginning Body Beast now. I'm a couple weeks into it, and I get an email that I won back in November. I won the monthly challenge. And along with the monthly contest comes $1,000. So I was pretty pumped about that. And then in that email, it, it told me that because I won the monthly challenge, now I'm eligible for this annual grand prize challenge that was going to take place at Summit. Um, and there was a chance to win 25000 to to 100000 And that just blew my mind. Um, the, the thought that you could do something to change your life as drastically as losing nearly 200 pounds and also um, win money doing it was pretty amazing to me. So my motivation went from probably a nine and a half to a 13 out of 10 when I found out about the grand prize challenge and I just hit the ground running doing body beast and T25 for cardio. And when it was all said and done, time to submit for the competition, it was 13 months after I started my weight loss and I was down a total of 185 pounds. I started at 380 pounds and when I submitted for the competition in April of this year, I was 195 pounds. And it was the first time I was in the hundreds since I was 14 or 15, a kid. Wow. And it's just, obviously, the weight loss just absolutely changed my life. And then to be with a company that also rewarded me by choosing my transformation to win 100000 is just amazing on top of that. So, so I, have a, I have a quick question about, sure. you said your nutrition, you, you had an app and you were doing it on... What did you do to change your nutrition? I mean, did you, because you obviously were eating like a lot of junk food, fast food. So what did yeah. you, how did you change your, what were you eating? So when I first started, I didn't really know anything about macronutrients or, you know, any of the nuances. I was almost 400 pounds. Obviously, if I knew it, I wasn't that following it. But um, what I, my first, when I first started, because I didn't really know what I was doing, I downloaded that app. I had heard about it from, I don't remember where I heard about it. I think a buddy of mine told me about it. And all I said to myself was, okay, I'm going to eat less than 2,000 calories. I didn't really look at anything else. I just looked at calories, scanned everything. It's super user-friendly app. I could just scan barcodes of the food I was eating. So that's how I started it. And I continued ignorant about nutrition for five or six months until weight really started to come off. And then I'm like, okay, I, at some point I'm going to need to dial this in because 
weight's flying off now because of my size. So I'm going to need to educate myself and learn. Uh, uh, hi, Mariah. The, the app's called Lose It. Um, it's kind of like my fitness pal. So I knew that at some point down the road, once I lost enough weight, I would need to be more dialed in in order to continue losing weight. So that's when I started to educate myself about macronutrients and whatnot. Cool. So a lot of people don't know about this. I, I see we've got some people uh, like Jason has lost over a hundred pounds in seven months. Awesome. So a lot of people don't know. They, they've heard about the beach body challenge and you can actually join the beach body challenge after, during, before, like, uh, cause you, you have to, you have to submit your story and you have to put in your before and after photos. Yes. So, so if you, if you go to beachbodychallenge.com, Jason, first of all, awesome job. That's amazing. Life changing amount of weight to lose. And you're doing it in a short period of time. Like I did too. Great job doing what you're doing. Uh, I'm not sure if you're on here, Jason, but, um, yeah. So if you go to, I believe it's just beachbodychallenge.com. There's a button right on the front page that says, um, join the challenge or something like that. Submit, submit your results, something along those lines. And there's a little questionnaire you fill out where it allows you to upload a couple pictures, your before picture, your after picture, um, optional. It has a thing for your measurements. If you took your measurements beforehand, but it's not required. Basically, the only requirements are a before and after picture, and then a little you write a little blurb about um, your story and what program you use. There's a there's check boxes on there to show what Beachbody programs and products you use. So it, it's super easy. I think it took me all of I did it on my phone while we were driving to lunch during uh, deer white tail deer season last year. We were driving to lunch while in the middle of hunting, and I filled it out on my phone while we were doing that, and it took me all of five or ten minutes. So it's real simple. If you have any questions, Jason, or anybody else wanting to submit, feel free to shoot me a message. It's super simple. So there's daily winners, weekly winners, monthly winners, and of course the grand prize. Yeah, I think they changed it as of last year. I don't oh. think they do the daily anymore. Oh. I think it's, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. There's monthly, there used to be quarterly. I don't think they do quarterly anymore. So I think it's just monthly and the grand prize now. But the finalists of the grand prize also get, get 25,000. So. Um, so Another question we have is the mindset of this, because a, a huge part of it is that mindset. Did you ever come to a screeching halt and like, just like this enough's enough. I can't do this anymore. Uh, yes. The, the mindset, uh, the screeching halt. No, I didn't really come to a screeching halt, but the mindset is absolutely the bigger part of this. I didn't find it terribly difficult. It took me a little time, but I didn't find it terribly difficult to get in a routine of working out, you know, the physical part of this. I didn't find it terribly difficult. But the, the mental part of this is a huge mountain to climb. Um, in my case and most people's cases, I was an emotional eater. I was addicted to food. Um, you don't get to nearly 400 pounds without food being a real problem in your life. Um, so I had a lot of hills to climb. Now, one of the things that I attribute my um, how I sort of just flipped a switch and started hitting the ground running is how much my weight was on my mind in the very le leading right up until my buddy kind of poking and prodding me to do this. I have a list in my wallet. Actually, I still keep it to this day. I had a list in my wallet for a couple months leading up to that of, it was like 18 to 20 reasons in my life of why I needed to lose weight. And some of the stuff on there was super powerful stuff, like be a better example to my kids, um, be a better husband, um, you know. And then there was even just simple um, things you take for granted, like I loved roller coasters and couldn't fit on them anymore. So being able to ride a roller coaster was on there. Finding clothes at a grocery or uh, not a grocery store, finding clothes at the store that fit. I was wearing 5X shirts and 54 inch pants. So it's really hard to find that stuff. So it, it ranged from very powerful reasons to just kind of things that you take for granted when you're, when you don't know what it's like to live morbidly obese. And that kind of had my mindset in the right place when my buddy at work poked and prodded me to, to be like, you know what, I need to do this. And that list in my wallet um, helped me a ton of times when I was struggling. There were many times I'd stand in front of, for the longest time, nobody in my family, my wife was not on, on healthy eating plan or anything. She wasn't really, it wasn't her thing. She wasn't mentally prepared for it yet. So we had a ton of um, unhealthy food in the house. And I had to learn to resist that. Previously, I had kind of used her not being on board as an excuse for me. I was using it as a crutch. I, I kind of blamed her. I would say, well, I would do this, but you're not on board. So, you know, I can't do it. You know, 
I was kind of, kind of, kind of almost uh, mean in that area. Like, I, not, I was, it's not something I beat her up about, but in my mind, I was trying to throw the blame off of me any way I could because I knew it was my fault and I didn't want to accept it. So there were many times I would stand in front of the pantry ready to devour something that I shouldn't. And I would have to get that list out and decide was what I wanted to do more important than these things I wrote down on this list. And, um, as cheesy as it sounds, that was huge when I started out to kind of keep me on track. Wow. So how did you, uh, I'm always interested how people jump into Beachbody. How did, I mean, you had the DVDs. Yes. How did you, how did you, I mean, you, 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 you jumped in the most extreme program of all. Yeah. And why Beachbody? Yeah, I, I agree. I think overall P90X is probably the most vigorous program. It's very long workouts, tough workouts. Um, really, for me, it was dumb luck. I, that's just what I was given years prior, and I just, that's what I had. I remembered, how, I remembered how vigorous the program was, so I decided that, you know, I have, near, I have 200 or near 200 pounds to lose, depending on where I wanted to end up. I needed, I needed something vigorous. So I, and I also remembered from when I had tried in the years past that Tony, Tony always said in the videos, just do your best. You know, you might not be able to keep up with us, basically, is what he's saying, but do what you can, take a break, and then hit the pause button and come right back. And so I thought, well, you know, I can do that. I can push as hard as I can. Anyone can do that. Like I said, I was doing push ups for my knees, and even then I couldn't keep up. So it, crazy. as far as P90X, it was just dumb luck that I ended up doing that. But man, am I glad I did. Yeah, that's what I started with. I yeah, actually, I remember talking I, to you. I actually started with, I, I did the uh, course energistics with Pat, and I was, I was nothing like your condition, but I was pretty out of shape. Yeah. I just did that one workout, and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I was literally intimidated yeah. by P90X, so that I did Power 90, his very, okay. one of his first workouts. Yeah, and I've done I, Power and 90, I, too. And I, I worked out with him live, and when I worked out with him live, oh. I was like, holy cow. That's pretty cool. I, I, I literally committed, and my wife Beth committed to the, the whole three months, and I did it, and I lost another, like, 25 pounds. Wow. Like, I lost, like, a total of 30, but nothing okay. like your story. But Hey, <laughs> everyone starts somewhere. I mean, I, I have this story because that's what I did still to myself. My favorite, so. It's still my favorite workout. I, I just don't like those hour workouts anymore. Yeah, I hear you. They're long. How many people win the monthly? Um. So – so there's four, yeah I do there's there they pick a winner every month from the four age groups that they have there's uh age group for 18 to 30 well 29 and then the 30s the 40s and above 50 so they pick a winner from each of those age groups every month and those 48 people of each sex because they pick male and female and then there's a male and female grand prize winner as well those 48 people male and female are eligible for the grand prize and they'll have to resubmit when it comes time to time for that time of year. So are you drinking Shakeology now? Oh yeah. Every day. Been doing it for since uh shortly after I got plugged in with my coach. Um I believe I started it was either like one of the last weeks of December or first weeks of January and I've had every day and boy was I skeptical of that. Uh I hear all these people saying what it did. I'm like, these guys are just, you know, they're BSing me because they're plugged into this company, you know, they're I, I still kind of viewed it as a pyramid scheme, you know, like you, I'm sure a lot of people have heard that objection from people. I'm like, they're lying to me. So I started drinking it and I actually have a, an Excel spreadsheet. I'm an engineer like you, Pete, as you know, I'm a ner numbers nerd, uh, data nerd. So I started keeping track. I'm like, okay, do I feel hungrier? Does it help me with my hunger? All this stuff. And uh, they weren't lying. My energy went up. Now I was eating clean for 10 months at this point. So, um, but, and still after eating clean for 10 months, this helped me, my energy, my, like what I explained is my baseline energy. It's not like I drank the shake and then boom, I was so energized, but overall my baseline energy just throughout the day went up. It helped me to stay full. Like people say for longer, there's a lot of fiber in it and, and, um, crazy. yeah, it, it helped me a ton. It's crazy. And it's crazy how good shakeology is. I mean, I, I agree. To Darren and, uh, Carl Deichler's wife talk about it. Isabel. Yep. Yep. Actually, my wife's on it now. And five to 10 minutes. That's all it took to, for you yeah. to really understand how dedicated they are to it. Did you, yes. have you ever listened to any personal development to keep you on track? 
Um, yeah, I have, I have started stuff. Um, when I was, when I first started this journey, I was real big. So it has nothing to do with coaching what I, when I first started, but I, I had just gotten into Dave Ramsey. If anybody's heard of him, it's finance guy, he does a lot of mm-hmm. real popular in the finance world. So at first I was kind of, I was really in, I was in the middle of a couple of his books. So I, I was doing that for personal development. And then I got plugged into Beachbody and I was, I actually, I'm still in the middle of the book because um, it kind of got distracted with this big, you know, competition I was in and everything, but uh, reading uh, GoPro, it's kind of just about network marketing and how to, how to more effectively reach people. Go and I'm also, free. yeah. And I'm also reading, if you've ever heard of Simon Sinek, he's got a book called Start With Why. It's basically um, on the topic. This one I'm listening to audio book. So I'm, I only, I'm only a couple chapters into this, but so, so far it's really good. It's basically about um, the way you get people to follow you is they buy into why you do something, not, not what you do. So you start with why. And he talks about, talks about why like Apple, for example, is so successful. It's because they're, they start with their mission and then move on to what they do. So people, people are basically the, the premise is they buy into why you're doing something. Like what I tell people is I'm, I'm here to share products that change my life and I want it for anybody willing. I'm not here to, to sell you something. If you want it, I'm here to share you. This changed my entire life. So it's kind of along those premises. But personal development is huge. So that's another great quote. On the Beachbody Challenge, you can submit every month. And there's a prize that you get too, like a small, they give you something small too, right? Yeah, I forgot to mention that. So um, you get a shirt, like you get a, a piece of apparel. Some of them, I think they're all tops. Some of them are shirts, tank tops or cutoffs, depending on what program. But it's based on the, the, the main program that you, you're submitting your results for. So when I submitted my results at the time, all I had done is P90X. So I put that on there and I got a P90X shirt. It says crushed it on the back. It's, it's pretty cool. And my understanding is you can only get those pieces of apparel from the challenge. So I know I've been wanting to submit my body beast results forever, but I couldn't because I had one in November. So it kept telling me I wasn't eligible. I'm like, I just want the darn tank top. I don't want anything else. So I got, I still have to submit those in fact. So that's a great, Anne Marie has a great question. How did you, how did relationships with both your family, children, friends change throughout this journey? Yeah. So there's some, uh, there's some surprising things that you wouldn't expect that happen here. Um, it's kind of cool now because there are a lot of people in my personal life that are now on weight loss um, journeys. Not all of them through Beachbody, actually only a couple of Beachbody. But um, now that I'm down as far as much as I am and people see the huge changes that have been made in my life and personality and just the way I feel, I've got a ton of people on board. But there were some surprising things that happened as I, as I was losing weight and kind of changing who I was because you, you can't lose large amounts of weight like this without really changing your viewpoints in life. And you come across different to people. Um, some people will accuse you of being obsessed. Um, I've been told I've lost too much weight. Uh, um, so along with the good, there's bad too. I, had, um, I was reading a book because I was experiencing these things. and. It talks about friends that you have mutual understandings about what it's like to be obese with, um, having tough times with them. So it's interesting because I kind of went through some of this stuff um, in the middle of my journey from, from 70 to 100 pounds down. I kind of went through some strains in some pretty close relationships of mine. And it's kind of awesome now because, you know, I never pushed anything on anybody. I never, never told people, I never told anyone they need to lose weight. I let people come to me if they wanted to do something. I don't judge people. I know what it's like to live like that. I know what it's like to feel like everybody in the room is judging you. Most rooms I stepped in, I was the biggest person in the room. Um, so it's kind of cool now to see that some of these relationships have been, been turned back. And now these people are on weight loss journeys because they've seen what I've done. And that was, excuse me, um, everyone that there were only a couple of relationships that I would say were strained and and both of those people are on weight loss journeys now, and we're very close again. It's pretty awesome. That's that's crazy. Yeah, it, it's I, I, it's crazy. There's yeah, so many people I, I around me totally now. Totally see that happening though, because they're yeah, they don't relate to you like they used to. Yeah, I mean, like, big, so. being obese was what I who I was. I mean, it was I was the. 
there's a if you notice a lot of huge people use it as a um, crutch in their their they joke about it. That's how I was. I joked about it. I pretended like it didn't bother me when it did bother me. I was kind of the stereotypical funny fat guy, if you will. Um, I always I was always making big guy jokes. I was always making eating jokes, stuff like that. So once I realized that I don't want to be this guy anymore, that that part of my life just kind of dropped off and. So it's a big change for people to get adjusted to. So you can't really blame them for a lot of people get upset when people, when, you know, I'm plugged in a couple weight loss, well, a lot of weight loss groups now, but people get upset when people say things like you've lost too much weight or stuff like that. But that's just people having a hard time seeing you differently. It's not something to get upset about. It's a, it's a big shock to a lot of people. Um, don't let it, don't let it hurt your journey or ruin your motivation. Um, everybody's, deals with change differently so so why do you think coaching is important and how has it impacted your journey oh boy um coaching and being plugged into a group like this um is huge because okay this has come from someone who for 10 months did not is can you guys is my baby crying on the monitor too loud I'll, okay all right um being plugged into a community like this is huge because for 10 months i was on my own completely on my own i didn't have I didn't have support in my personal life. I didn't have support um, from people online or anything. So I was kind of on the journey alone. And once I got plugged into, I, you know, I, I did okay personally, but there were so many times that I wanted to quit where had I had the support I had now, I think there would have been much fewer of those times. I would have had people in my corner, people constantly checking in on me and whatnot. And um, the, like, I, like I said, it's the support that's huge. When you've got a team behind you, it takes your potential off the charts compared to by yourself. Right. Yeah. And, and then uh, now it's also one thing that motivates me is I've got people looking up to me now, yeah. not just the people, not just my support, but now I've got people messaging me saying, I, ha I had a lady tell message me saying, um, she was gonna. She was about to go off track with her meal, but all she kept saying was, "Jeff wouldn't do this, so I can't. I can tough it out too." And then I, I, it was awesome to hear her say that, but it really made me reflect. Like, wow, this is this is powerful stuff. So I've got a lot of people looking up to me now. So I need to be a good example. That's, a, that's yeah. I mean, it, so Chris, one of one of our coaches wanted to, wants to know what you did with all your prize winnings. <laughs> uh, oh uh, well, I contrary to what Dave Ramsey would have told me, if you know anything about Dave Ramsey, I took a ton of school loans out. I'm a civil engineer. I went to school, so I had a tax guy come over a couple days after I won it. Because the scariest part about this challenge is they hand you a real one hundred thousand dollar check behind stage. So I had to walk around for a day and a half with a hundred thousand dollars in my pocket, giving dirty looks to everyone that came within ten feet of me, and. Uh, so I had a tax guy come over the week I got back home from Summit, um, talked to him, made sure I knew where everything was going with that, and then, boom, I made a huge payment on my school loans 20 minutes after he walked out of my house. Um, so that took a decent chunk of them up. Uh, we're taking a little trip to Disney World with the family in December. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. I, like I mentioned before, I've got a four-year-old and an almost two-year-old, so we're excited about that. And then I made some upgrades to my home gym. And then, of course, I've got I put some away in savings, of course. But those are the fun things that I did. So I always wonder when people uh, like you did it a lot on your own. Can you imagine yes. if, you, if you had to be mindset when you? No. Were it, uh, <laughs> yeah, I like I said, I started out knowing nothing. I just looked at calories, and that's it. Um, actually, my wife and I are starting to be mindset now. I was I was doing doing body beast and kind of on my own meal plan up until just recently. And, and now I'm watching the videos with my wife because um, one of the exciting things that was a result of summit is my wife's now on a weight loss journey. Um, she came to summit with me, super intimidated thinking that this was going to be an event with a bunch of fit people who were going to judge her for being overweight. And I tried to tell her, listen, no, I'm plugged into this community. You will, there's nowhere that's more accepting of people than an understanding of people that are overweight than where we're about to go. But she was, she, she didn't take what I said to heart. She was really intimidated and she was super inspired when we went, met a bunch of nice people. We met Lindsay Matway. I don't know if you guys know who Lindsay Matway is. One of the you know top coaches ever. She's my, my upline. 
Um, so I got to meet her after I won and she talked to my wife, told my wife how beautiful she was. And it just, um, inspired my wife. So now she's on a weight loss journey and we're, do, we're starting to be mindset. And that was one of the first things that occurred to me was, man, if I had this 10, well, 15 months ago now, I would have, I mean, well, I mean, how can I complain? I lost 185 in 13 months, but still it would have helped a lot. So that's another, that's another really big point is bringing your significant other or your spouse to the big events like summit or, you know, any big, but it's really summit. Cause I, I, I had a, a couple uh, husbands come and it was a complete turnaround for them. They were very yes. skeptical. They were like, what are you wasting your time doing all this? And so just getting to summit, if a spouse can come, can flip kind of crazy yeah. might, they become big believers whether they yeah. whether they wanted they might not want to do beach body but they will become beach, big believers Supporters. what yep. we have to offer you know? yes and like i said my wife was absolutely inspired by it we came home and a couple of days later um she she said hey um tickets for next year's summit are up i'm gonna book it so we're already booked and ready to go for next year's summit and she i'm super excited she's on a weight loss journey it's so cool those of you who were lucky enough to have your family on board with this from the beginning, count your blessings because this is awesome. I mean, it's so cool to have the whole family on board now. It kind of feels like like uh, there's like this weight lifted off now. We're, we're on the same page. We're all doing it together. and it, It's just a cool feeling. The community part of it is a huge, and that's a genuine oh, part of this whole. I mean, when I go to Summit, I, the people that I meet, I'm like, where, where were these people when I was working – in the corporate world. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, I mean, as friendly and just nice and not judging you and all that. And just very positive group of people. Yeah. That's, that's a huge like, part that people don't talk about enough. Just being involved with that type of these people, you know? Yeah. I mean that, that is massive to have that support. Um, the, you know, Beachbody, the Beachbody family meets you where you are. Everybody, I started at 380 pounds. Everybody starts at a different level, but when you're, massively overweight you feel like everybody is judging you you feel like you can't walk you can't walk into a room without people um saying things about you they, they might not be saying anything about you but in your mind you see two people talking over in the corner and kind of laughing and you you just automatically think they're laughing at you because you've got such a poor image of yourself so being in a community that is so supportive and meets you where you are is huge so do you have any future plans for your coaching or uh, do you have any, what's your, do you have any goals anymore? What's your, what's your end goal? Yeah. Um, I'm ex or for weight loss. Um, yeah. So I was kind of waffling back and forth. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my weight. I was having a real hard time judging um, due to, due to loose skin and whatnot. I didn't know. I was having a hard time judging where I should be. So I actually just decided a couple days ago that, I want to lose another 15 to 20 pounds. Um, I'm kind of looking at my belly fat and thinking, okay, I think I need, this isn't just loose skin. I need to lose a little bit more here. So number wise, it's hard for me to give a number, but I, I'm going to go based on how I feel, look and feel. So I do, I'm, I'm going to continue in a calorie deficit in here for a little while. Once I get to where I feel like I'm ready, my fitness wise, my goals are to bulk up. I'm going to go for muscle gain. Um, I'll slowly increase my calories. I don't know how many in this group are into bodybuilding or whatnot, but I'm going to kind of, I'm excited about lift four coming up. I'm going to try to use that to, to, um, build muscle. And then as far as coaching, I'm super excited because now I actually, I, this competition, as you could imagine, kind of took up all my time for the, from when I found out about it early or late last year till summit took all my time. So I was focused on myself and my my journey more than I was coaching. Now I got to Emerald coach just because my story kind of attracted a few people that were under me. So I'm kind of excited to focus on and build my team. So right now I'm part of a, part of a small team. My, my upline, he's, he's directly under Lindsay Matway in one of her business centers and he runs his own team called the dedicated Republic. So we're kind of a real small team right now. So I'm excited to build my team under there initially and then branch off and, and start my own team. Cool. Awesome. So, so uh, how do you get rid of the loose skin from Jason? Yeah, no. this is, this is um, something a lot of people have messaged me over. It's something that concerns a lot of people. Um, 
it's not really i'm not hugely concerned with it right now um i figured i lost the weight pretty quick so no matter what i end up deciding i need to give it a couple of years to see what it about how it bounces back on its own um i'm thinking since i'm i'm 29 right now i'm thinking it should bounce back some on its own you know just being younger so um i'm going to give it a couple of years to see what happens and then kind of take it from there i'm, I'm not sure i may, may if it's bad enough, maybe I'll have surgery. Um, maybe I'll just keep it the way it is. I haven't decided. So you were a big roller coaster guy. Yeah, and I live near Cedar now, Point. If anybody knows. And then you and now you and you you going to you going to Disney or you've been to Disney? Yeah, I've been to Disney since I lost weight. Um, Did it's, you get on uh, the roller coaster? Did you get? Oh yeah, it was awesome. Uh, now. I live near Cedar Point, if anybody knows. It's like the capital of roller coasters. So Disney's a little bit tame as far as roller coasters go, but it was awesome to ride them and fit again. I'm super excited to go to Cedar Point here this sometime this summer soon. Need to just, just do it. We haven't planned How about all those so. other things like getting on a plane? Sleep. Oh, yeah. First thing I did when we went to uh, Indy was take a picture of the extra, extra um, length of seatbelt that I had. Had my wife take my picture. Um, I rode a plane to New Jersey a few years back when I was big, and it was embarrassing. I tucked my seatbelt under my stomach, hoping the stewardess would think that it was buckled in and not ask me about it, and she didn't, so I was so relieved. But So the, the very first thing I did was I sat down. I was like a little kid in the playground. I'm like, take a picture. Take a picture. I've got extra seatbelt. You know, if there's a picture, it's true. So that's, that's cool. what I – it was pretty cool. And then the other things like sitting, fitting in a restaurant booth. I mentioned finding clothes that fit. I'm excited to do things like zip lining, just fun stuff like that that I haven't been able to do since I was a kid. Now you got in Indianapolis next year. It's right, right around – right next to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I, other cool things that happened, I've been invited to speak at um, the local Super Saturday. Um, I'm, so I'll be speaking there in October in, the, in northeast Ohio. And then I also met someone on the Sacramento, California board who's working on having me come out early next year. So there's potential for some pretty cool stuff to come out of this. Yeah, it's great. It's crazy. Some of the, some of the changes that I, I mean, I've been to like seven summits in this, in the, the people I've seen in the Beachbody Challenge. I mean, that's one, they're, they're, this is incredible what, the, what, they, what they go through to get to where they are. And then yeah. I met some awesome people just in Summit in general, but then meeting the other finalists was cool too. We kind of, in the very short time we had together, we grew pretty close, especially um, if anybody noticed the finalist, Joe Jackson, the finalist who was the age group just above me, we became really close and we're talking about um, possibly doing some stuff together in the future. Awesome, so you, awesome, awesome call, buddy. I, I appreciate the invitation. I bumped into you at Starbucks. Yeah, what are, what are the odds there? That was pretty funny, right? I, mean, me, I even had to tell you. Thing, yeah, the biggest yeah, even, thing about ahead, is running into the people that have these amazing transformations. You know, we've yeah. got a few like Joe is on the call here. He had a crazy transformation. Jason had a crazy okay. transformation. Um, goes on and on. Steve is on here. He's like, Steve, you should be joining the Beach Party Challenge. Guys, if you, you, everybody should, if you've, if you've done a Beachbody program and had any success at all, you don't have to lose 180 pounds. Submit your stuff, your, your proof that the products work, your proof that you can, that dedication equals results. And it's, you, you put a lot of hard work into it, get rewarded for it. Whether you win the big money or not, submit your results and just go for it. Don't be afraid to do it. And Marie? You, you want to get back on and uh, we're going to do our talk. Awesome, Joe. We have a little, we, we have a little way of uh, ending our calls on Team Boom. Okay. On the count of three, guys. It was great talking to you, Jeff. One, two, three. Boom! Boom! Great stuff, Jeff. Good luck. All the best. Man. Thanks, guys. It was awesome to meet you all. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Reach out to me if you ever have questions, guys. Everyone's welcome. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank I'll, you. I'll touch with you. Okay. Take care, Pete. Hey.